Hi there, today we will talk about Linux gaming and how you can run almost any games on Linux. Let's begin. Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. It provides a set of libraries and APIs that allow Windows software to be executed on Linux and other Unix-like operating systems without requiring a copy of the actual Windows operating system. Steam Proton essentially gives us a collection of high-performance graphics libraries and a modified version of Wine. There is little to no performance cost when running Windows games on Linux using Proton. You can play many popular titles at respectable frame rates using Proton. Vulkan is a cross-platform graphics and compute API developed by the Kronos Group, designed to provide efficient access to modern GPUs for tasks like rendering and simulations. It offers lower CPU overhead, explicit multi-threading, and direct control over hardware resources, enabling developers to optimize performance for a wide range of applications, including video games and 3D graphics. Vulkan replaces OpenGL with a focus on performance, scalability, and advanced rendering techniques. DXVK is a Vulkan-based translation layer for Direct 3D 9 or 10 or 11 which allows running 3D applications on Linux using Wine. VKD3D is a 3D graphics library built on top of Vulkan. It has an API very similar, but not identical to Direct 3D 12. Pick whatever distro you like, distro doesn't matter. Some commands might be different for different distros, but it will work the same. I'll cover mainly Debian, Fedora, and Arch-based commands. So probably your distro should be covered as most of the distros are based on Debian, Fedora, or Arch. AMD officially supports Linux. AMD's open source drivers are already integrated into the Linux kernel, so you will not need to install AMD drivers separately. You can install AMD Pro drivers if you want, but that will not make it perform any better. NVIDIA has a whole new story. NVIDIA's open source driver called Nouveau is not that good, especially if you want to play games. You have to use the proprietary driver, but do not download from the NVIDIA official site. In Ubuntu or any Debian Linux derivatives, you can install additional driver utility to download NVIDIA proprietary drivers. For Fedora derivatives, enable non-free fusion repo and install the package AK Mod NVIDIA. For Arch use NVIDIA DKMS package. Some distros like Pop OS, Manjaro, etc. comes with NVIDIA drivers pre-installed in different ISO. Let me know in comments if you would like me to create a separate video on installing NVIDIA drivers on Linux. Steam is available for every Linux distro as a flat pack or as a native package. The package name is called Steam. You can install Steam from the software center or using the terminal. Steam's parent company Valve is responsible for vast improvement of Linux gaming in recent years. Their handheld gaming device called Steam Deck is capable of running Windows games quite well and it runs on Linux. Steam uses Proton to run Windows games on Linux. After installing Steam, go to Settings, click on Compatibility, and make sure to enable Steam Play for all other titles. You can select default Proton version from here. If you want to change per game settings, open Properties of the game. Here you can add launch arguments and also you can select your preferred Proton version for this game. There is a popular version of Proton created by a developer Glorious Eggroll which can perform better for some games. You can manage these custom builds of Proton by using a software called ProtonUpQt. It is available as a flat pack and app image. Install and open the software, select the custom Proton build and select the version, then download. It will be automatically installed. After installing, restart Steam and you will find the downloaded Proton in the list. To customize it further, we can add command line arguments to Steam to change various functionalities like FPS counter, enabling game mode, ray tracing support, DLSS support, enabling FSR support for unsupported games, and many more. Let me know in the comments section which command line arguments you use. Best way to use Epic Games Launcher is to use Heroic Launcher. It is available as Flatpak, AppImage, Deb, RPM, or Archive File. 
Install and log into your Epic Games account, then you can download some games and play. There are a lot of options to tinker in this launcher. Here I am playing Death Stranding and Heroic Game Launcher. Mainly I buy games on Steam, but sometimes Epic Games provides good games for free. Which game you got for free from Epic? Let me know in the comments. If you buy games on Steam then Steam will install Ubisoft Launcher for you, but if you have some games which you bought from Ubisoft Launcher, you can use Lutris to install it. Lutris is a great piece of software for running and managing various Wine and Proton versions and running third-party launchers like Ubisoft and EA Origin Launcher. Also you can install some games or softwares which you might have downloaded from Torrents. Follow the similar process to install EA App. Origin App is now called EA App. EA doesn't support Origin App anymore, so you might get login issues if you try to install Origin. EA is trying very hard to mess up things as they always did in the past. You probably noticed there is a FPS counter and various other information are showing in the top left corner of the screen. This is a software called Mango Hood. You can activate Mango HUD by adding Steam Argument. You can also customize Mango HUD to alter its appearance. Use the software G Overlay to do that. Feral Game Mode is a performance optimization tool you can use to get the maximum performance out of your system while gaming. Love to alter game appearance? Probably you've heard about ENB and Sweet FX in Windows. Use VK Basalt on Linux to get the similar visual tweaks. Follow all their GitHub pages to know more. There are some games which will not run on Linux. Those are mainly due to some anti-cheat softwares like BattleEye or Easy Anti-Cheat Support Issue. Game developers need to enable Linux support for these anti-cheat softwares. Some of the games like PUBG PC, Rainbow Six Siege and some new Call of Duty games will not run on Linux due to these half-baked anti-cheat softwares. You can check ProtonDB.com to check which games are running fine on Linux and which games are not before you buy any game. You can even see the settings what other users are using and also their system configurations. If you're stuck somewhere, you will definitely find some solutions here. Linux gaming is not perfect but it's not so far from being perfect either. I can give up some stubborn multiplayer games which will run only on Windows rather than giving up the freedom which I get by using Linux. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section. That's it for today. Please give a like and subscribe to the channel if you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Have a good one.